Hi everyone, it's Amy and I'm here today to share um, two Christmas cards I made and my an update on my project life and I don't have my tripod so I have to remind myself to be very steady with the camera. Um, I had this whole video um, already taken and then I think it was my SanDisk card um, was an error so I put another card in so hopefully we will get through this one. Um, the first card I made is a very simple it's a stamp set uh, from Stampin' Up! I'm sure it's retired it's called Lovely as a Tree and the piece is also a Stampin' Up! stamp um, I'll show you this is the the Lovely as a Tree stamp and I stamped that in the background and uh, also did a double um, stamping so that it gave the lighter trees and it gave it a little more depth and I have a piece of mat which is a little bit wider on the top and bottom and I believe that's called bordering blue or it's a very gray blue it looks bluer on the through the camera so it's very simple I love the glitter I used a uh, two-way pen this one here zig two-way pen and let me where's the glitter Martha Stewart um, glitter it's crystal coarse glitter and just very simple and the inside it just it's embossed it just says Merry Christmas so that's one card and I think I'm gonna make more of those but um, let me know what you think the second card is a white and red card and it's matted on red real red from Stampin Up and the um, Sizzix embossing folder is in the Swiss dots and I put some Baker's twine around that and I have a uh, I think the star stamp is an old hero art set which came with a it was in a clear container with all these mini Christmas stamps and that I've embossed and um, raised on dimensionals or one dimensional and for that star I had this um, this quickie glue pen I got this at a scrapbook convention pinpoint pinpoint roller and this worked really great for small areas it's got a t <coughs> excuse me a tip just like a pen so it gets in those small areas <coughs> and I didn't put a sentiment in there but yet yeah. but um I may put something a little different but that's also a very simple card so let me know what you think I'm gonna make 40 so I'm just gonna get the conveyor system going here here's all my pieces are cut so let's move on to my project life I'm a little bit behind but you know some people feel behind but you really can't be behind in project life I do it weekly um, I'm actually going through the class on big picture scrapbooking with Becky Higgins so she gives you a theme every week and this is my album well there's that top I was looking for that um, it starts with begin with the end in mind and this is just um, filler cards from the core kit I haven't used anything else but her core kit so I'm gonna take you through week one I forget I think week one's theme was um, first things first no it wasn't I don't remember what it was but anyway week one October sorry for the glare October 4th through 10th and I really did not embellish my journal cards at all in fact this this week I put my photos on the journal cards by mistake and there's my cat and my two cats and this glass of wine is has a little bit of um, 
photo effect around it. It's from a place I buy, um, I get a take-home pizza like every Thursday or maybe once every two weeks. And while they're making the pizza, I'll sit and have a glass of wine and relax. So that's one of my favorite stops after work. And, oh, there's a picture of me under here, but <laughs> I was experimenting with my new iPhone 5 and I don't like the picture. So it's under my hand. Um, this is, we're taking our sailboat out in the fall. You can see it looks like a pretty cold day. And my daughter and son-in-law just bought a new house. And these are the colors inside the house when they bought it. The first thing they did was, was paint it. So that's what that page is about. Week two is all about, um, your what you do in, when you wake up in the morning, beginning. So I just took some autumn pictures, back porch, and <clears throat> this is an Allie Edwards stamp. Um, I have quite a few of her stamps. And these are from little leaf punches that I have. And here's my morning coffee that gets delivered to me every morning. My husband puts it right by my bedside. You can see the clock. It's like 5.35. So I get up early and that's one of my breakfasts of choice on a cold morning is um, the oatmeal, the cook kind of oatmeal. And oh those are my makeup brushes. Just my morning routine. That's a six o'clock now so I've had my coffee. This is my husband bringing in pellets. We have two pellet stoves and so this is part of our fall routine. This picture is really blurry, but this is a picture of some rack goodies that I sent to a friend. And this is my organizational calendar on my um, computer, which is nice because it syncs with your phone and it syncs with everybody in the family. So you can see who's got meetings and who's got what. So um, it's called Cozy. C-O-Z-I and I got the gold one which you pay for but the regular Cozy is, is a free app and it's just great it's really helped just my husband and I to decide whether we're gonna carpool together or not so that's week three is um, called nurture relationships this is getting near the end of October this is my 94 year old dad and my granddaughter and she likes to visit him when she comes over and this is her with her American Girl doll that she just got it, it's dressed just like her the same pajamas and here is oh I just started decorating actually just a little bit I used some washi tape and some um, stickers and a tab. Um, I used a tab punch here and then some Allie Edwards quote. Um, this is my husband cooking his shrimp dish. He doesn't cook very often but he makes it really good shrimp. Uh, shrimp scampi. And this is my daughter, not my daughter, my granddaughter on the footstool over at my dad's. She likes to go for a ride on the pig and this is her having her treatment. She has cystic fibrosis and she has to have a nebulizer and a jiggle vest twice a day. And she loves to be on the iPad. She's handling it very well. It's just something she she's going to have to continue her treatments, you know, throughout her life. And uh, there's a picture of her. She was experimenting with my lip gloss. <laughs> Okay. Oh, week four was all about organizing. And I put a leaf here. And this is October 25th to the 31st. Believe this, this is my linen closet. It doesn't look like that now. I don't have an after picture, but I did buy some really big bins from the container store. And it looks so much different now. I'll have to take another picture. Um, this is my closet that I organized. I used to have 
shoes all over the floor and now I just have a couple pair right up there so I'm very happy with how that came out um, there's my morning organization makeup let me cover that glare and our driveway decorated this is <laughs> this is my granddaughter she has a mask that my husband got and she was afraid to put it on but I wanted to take her picture and that's my husband in it oh it's gross um, Japanese maple we have in our yard gets really pretty this time of year I did include some Hamley um, transparencies has a really nice effect on the pages I did that a couple times so far the next one, um, the theme is, oh, this is a different stamp uh, right up here. I got this camera stamp. Let me show you the set. I really like it. It's from it is, K1 Clear Stamps. And I think I got it from Two Peas. It's not really focusing, yeah. Um, but there's two cameras with it. I really like this set. And then I got another set. <coughs> Taking a little detour. Um, I got this one also. I like the glasses. And that. So those are good stamps to collect. Um, this is the yard. I wanted to sh show uh, the pretty yellow leaves and um, this is taking our uh, fishing boat out of the water and that's putting it in the yard, storing it. And this is my computer screen, um, Hurricane Sandy making landfall on East Coast. So that was one thing to be grateful for. We did lose power here in New Hampshire but it we didn't get too much else. There's my other granddaughter, Ella, in the bubble bath. Here she is, princess, and here she is on the iPad. Here's just a pretty sunny window sill in my bath, in one of the bathrooms that I thought I'd take a picture of. And I believe that is it, week six. Um, it's called Fine Balance and Routine. And I've got notes. I I get a template. Let me show you what what the template looks like. Sorry about that. I plan out my pages. I might have shown this in another video, but I plan out my pages, um, what I'm going to put, and then I plan out what I'm going to write on my journaling cards. So that's how I plan. I wait about three weeks before I get my collection of um, prints printed from Shutterfly. So I have a couple weeks to catch up on, two or three, and uh, one of them was all about, um, what was the title of that theme? Something about your inner homemaker, and I record your inner homemaker or something like that. But anyway, it was fun during Thanksgiving because I took pictures of the dishes I was preparing and and things like that. So the class goes through Christmas so um, I think between now and Christmas I'll be able to catch up some more. So and this is my little my corner for Project Life. I've got a collection of things and, but I you know I've, I've seen so many people do some really good um, embellishing of their cards. I am I just don't have the time right now so I'm just putting the pictures in, jotting down a couple of notes and that is it and I've been happy with it. So so thanks guys. I want to thank my new subscribers. It seems like just in the past month I have gotten a lot of new subscribers and I have not been able to put up a video so hopefully this will be um, the first of, of a few coming up. Um, so I just want to thank everyone. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving with family and the next four, three to four weeks is going to fly with with uh, Christmas coming. So thanks for stopping.
and watching and take care guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.